Hi and welcome back to freesciencelessons.co.uk. By the end of this video, you should be able to describe how to investigate how much infrared radiation is absorbed or radiated by different surfaces. And remember that this is a required practical, so you need to learn the details. I'm showing you here glowing coals, and as you can see, these are emitting visible light. Now, hot surfaces such as these also emit infrared radiation. Remember that the human eye cannot see infrared. So in this practical, we're going to investigate how much infrared is emitted or absorbed by different surfaces. I'm showing you here a Leslie's cube. We can use a Leslie's cube to see how much infrared is emitted from different surfaces. A Leslie's cube has got four different surfaces. We've got a shiny metallic surface, a white surface, a shiny black surface, and a matte black surface. And the word matte means not shiny. So first we fill the Leslie's cube with hot water. We then point an infrared detector at each of the four surfaces and record the amount of infrared emitted. Now it's very important that we keep the same distance between the Leslie's cube and the infrared detector. This makes the measurements repeatable. So what we find is that the matte black surface emits the most infrared radiation. This is followed by the shiny black surface and then the white surface. Finally, the shiny metallic surface emits the least infrared radiation. Now, if we don't have an infrared detector, then we can use a thermometer with the bulb painted black. However, the resolution of the thermometer is less than the infrared detector. The resolution is the smallest change that can be detected. So, for example, we may not be able to detect a large difference between the surfaces using a thermometer, whereas the infrared detector is more likely to detect a difference. Okay, so we're going to look now at how to measure the absorbance of infrared by different surfaces, and to do that we use this equipment. We've got an infrared heater, and on either side we've got two metal plates. One plate has been painted with shiny metallic paint, and the other plate has been painted with matte black paint. On the other side of the plates we've used Vaseline to attach a drawing pin. We now switch on the heater and start timing. The temperature of the metal plates increases as they absorb infrared. We record the time it takes for the Vaseline to melt and the drawing pins to fall off. What we find is that the drawing pin falls off the matte black plate first, and that's because matte black surfaces absorb more infrared than shiny metallic surfaces. So as we've seen, matte black surfaces are much better at emitting and absorbing infrared than shiny metallic surfaces. In fact, infrared tends to be reflected from shiny metallic surfaces instead. Remember, you'll find plenty of questions on this required practical in my Vision workbook, and you can get that by clicking on the link above.